Let's say the Defense and Police Office Officers Wives Association, the POA, it don't empower like 66 widows of servicemen when visited a kill inside Abuja. The National President of the POA, Bonlali Olori Soki, he said they were going to help the women to ginger their skis and to give them what they could do so that they could take care of their families. Mrs. Olori Soki, he said the new graduate, now people went to the joint body for the eighth batch of the training, and they say they will continue to support women when they say their husbands don't pay the Obonga sacrifice with their life. Today is another day I'm grateful to God for because the poor has just graduated the eighth batch of trainees from our DEPOA Skills Acquisition Center. This means that DEPOA is dedicated in empowering youth, women, especially widows of our fallen patriots. This kind of vocational training will help them to enhance their skills it will also help them to become entrepreneurs by starting income generated um, businesses and also afford them to earn a living to sustain their families. This will of course enhance employability in Nigeria and add to the GDP of our dear country, Nigeria. The Depoa is playing a supportive role to members of the armed forces. You can see from the training today, we have 66 graduates and 21 of them are widows, widows of our fallen heroes. So instead of these widows and their children uh, living very pitiful, pitiable lives. The power has taken the initiative to enhance the training and give them, giving them starter packs. That means they don't need any loan, they just start straight away. This is a very noble gesture. Like I said earlier, we're going to convert for the power to make sure individual organizations in the country can support the training and sponsor students or trainees to come and benefit from, from future exercises of this nature. I stand here on behalf of all the widows present here today to say a very big thank you to our mommy for taking the initiative to empower the wives of the fallen widows. Thank you, ma'am, for touching our lives positively. When I was told about this training and I was told that everything that that everything will be taken care of. I couldn't believe it myself because it sounded so good to be real. But well, here I am today as a graduating veteran student. I have everything it takes for me to start up my business. God bless you, ma'am. We do not take it for a